is an item of his that I'd like to throw out. He has these Nickelodeon pajama pants from Walmart. Uh -huh. I can't stand. <laughs> I don't know why. Because the, the, the every character just be everywhere. <laughs> why are you hating on my pants? Because you just being here laid out with, with Arnold. That was the whole on point. On your crotch. That was the <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny, and we are hashtag, 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 hashtag the cannons, and you are watching CCTV. All right, guys, we're hashtag the cannons CCTV, and welcome back to our eating show. Yeah. All right, guys, today um, we're doing something a little different. Um, getting in touch with my Mexicano roots. <laughs> you don't take it out, eh? You are black. I know, I'm black. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so guys, today we have um. Some uh, shrimp ceviche right here, and we also have a Mexican shrimp cocktail. Um, I'll just I'll explain um, the details of these things in just a few moments. First off, we want to say real quick: if this is your first time on this channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, become a member of our family, mm -hmm. hit the notification bell so that you don't miss it whenever we upload it. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Let us know that you like the video, guys. Remember, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag the can is on the way to 10,000 subscribers. We've already reached the halfway mark at 5K. What? I say 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. All new and returning family members, welcome. And thank you so much. All right, guys, we're going to say grace and we're going to get into this mukbang. All right, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food. Let it be nourishing to our bodies, and it's in your, your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Woo. Right. I pulled my grandma with that prayer. What? My eyes was open. Because you tripe it. <laughs> I was watching as well as pray. All right, guys. So, yeah, this is our first time really uh, indulging this. I've had ceviche before. It was the one with the imitation crab. But don't really remember it that much. Um, but this is... Pretty much, you can say our first time trying this I'm out. Um, this is a shrimp ceviche right here. It has uh, cucumbers, red onions, tomatoes, and uh, shrimp and lime juice along with cilantro mixed together. We're going to spread it on these uh, tostadas here with this Mexican mayonnaise. Which, um, this is how I heard it's supposed to be done. And also right here we have a shrimp cocktail, um, Mexican shrimp cocktail, which is a little different from American shrimp cocktail. You know, American shrimp cocktail just served with... Um, with uh, plain shrimp with the uh, cocktail sauce. This is a little different. It has a mixture of about the same ingredients that are in here along with like tomato juice and um, lime juice and you know, uh, some uh, different other things like green onions and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so really this is all my, my Mexican uh, pals. Y'all know I don't stick to um, one type of thing on this channel. What I like to do is I Okay. <laughs> All I like to do is like switch it up. I try not to um, always bring you the same type of things, same type of foods. So to all my uh, Mexicano friends, you know what I'm saying? Let me know, um, you know, some good recipes. Let me know if I did this right, you know what I'm saying? Because I did make this in-house. Um, here you go, Danny. I think you supposed to, for the uh, ceviche, you spread it on the uh, Mexican friends. Let me know if I did this right. Let me know um, any suggestions, what I could do differently, you know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know what I'm saying, ethnic dishes, I do like to try just to get a, like, a different taste and feel of things. And um, they said spread the Mexican mayonnaise only um, on half of the uh, tostada at the, um, so that it doesn't get too soggy. Time for me to try the ceviche. Mm. I've been saying it all week. Ever since he said something. Yeah, I should have never told her. <laughs> Every time I say something, she'd be like, ceviche. Like, what? Mm, I like to say it. Mm. It was really fresh. Mm -hmm. I like that, though. Let's fill in pieces. Also, guys, today we will be doing a husband wife tag. Since we said when I mean, we got the 5k, we could give y'all that because we have some kind of uh, some kind we have new subscribers that really don't know anything about you know yeah. how we got together, and so we'll be doing that. What's that stuff? Oh, well, y'all know I leave that up to her. Mm hmm. He likes to coordinate. 
It's so cold, isn't it? Oh, John. <laughs> Mayo, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, um, but yeah, I like. I'm making a mess. Hmm? I'm making a mess. What are you doing? Crunching with these big teeth. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, um, I've been dying to try this out for a while now, and the time has finally come, so I was like, why not bring it to my subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? All these years, I never thought I'd eat an onion like this. I know. I'm not <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm so of, proud of me. I'm <laughs> not a fan of raw onions either, but red onions, I know I like much that bite with that mayonnaise was good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, so fresh. Nice. Look at what? We want to eat it outside on a nice day. <laughs> mm. I right, also shrimp cocktails are a little different. I'm just going off what they said to do. Is that add a little bit of hot sauce, some Mexican hot sauce in it if you like a little spicy flavor. And um, me up. they said, um, hmm. you know, already it already has like added um, ketchup and the uh, and the tomato juice for flavor. Hmm. It is it. I mean, of course, it's most of the same ingredients, so they're similar in flavor, but mm. a little different based off of the. Um, Still good. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm mm mm. mm. Sorry, didn't see it. Apparently, a lot of times this is eating with crackers. We have uh, tortilla chips. We like they eat it with salt saltines. Not saltines. Yeah, my mama gave me a saltine. I used to be hot. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> you pass me the mayonnaise. Mm hmm. So y'all, I got 15 questions that I better get started. Hey guys, sorry about that. I forgot to add an avocado. I'm supposed to add that in, apparently, like, um, right before you eat it. <laughs> that was my fault, my fault, but we back. What was you saying, cuz? I was saying that the first question was, how did we meet? Oh. I love avocado. So. <laughs> Lord, I missed. We met online with Danny flirting with me. We met on Snapchat. <laughs> online. <laughs> on Snapchat, she sent me a um, request like, can I be your Snapchat friend? Um, I did not ask if I could be his Snapchat friend. I sent the request, he accepted, and then he sent me a message saying that he does not do ghost flock followers. And I said, mm. Yeah, because, <laughs> uh, yeah, like, don't add me and not. Honey, I was here to look. I was not here to talk. <laughs> Pretty much I was letting you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't do no lurkers. I was here. On my page. You spilling juice. I was I was here to look. I ain't going to talk. I ain't going to talk. It's all right. I say, um, but I don't do no lurkers. That's what he said. So what up? What you what? So yeah, the rest is history. You know what they say. <laughs> so the second question is, how long have we been together? We have been together for five years. Is it still five? 
We got together in 2015 of January. You're right, you're right, you're right. You right, you right, you right. Ooh. <laughs> Boy, that tostada said no. <laughs> and in May, we have been married for two years. Mm-hmm. Yes. Where was our first date? Where? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Charlie's? What did you say? Oh, Charlie's? Mm-hmm. That's the first restaurant we was at together, right? I'm gonna go with that because I don't really know to be honest. <laughs> that and that Applebee's get leery. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was old Charlie's though. You know I still asked for that mashed potatoes and that chicken. Y'all, I left my leftovers. I still want them. <laughs> yeah, so Daddy left her leftovers that night because she was all over me and she just couldn't leave me alone. So she ended up accidentally leaving her leftovers at the restaurant. That was not the case. And she didn't eat hardly anything. <laughs> So. That's when I didn't eat that much. Yeah, neither one of us. Well, I, I'm always eating cheese, but I just wasn't. I wasn't a, a really big guy. I was a big guy, but just only muscle-wise. <laughs> I didn't have too much baby fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's baby fat. <laughs> um, what city was your partner born in? I was born in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Where were you born? <laughs> More of a North Carolina dirty mo stand up. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> dirty mo. Dirty mo. That's what y'all call it. Mm-hmm. Is it still called dirty mo? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so weak? I'm serious. Is it still called dirty mo? Yeah. Oh my god. Dirty, my lord, I lived in the dirty mo. You lived in the dirty. I lived in the dirty. Anyway. <laughs> what was our first road trip together? Uh, we took so many. <laughs> because for all of y'all that don't know, me and AJ's relationship started out long distance. And what cons- what is considered a road trip? I don't know. I guess for me, I would think our first road trip is probably when we actually took a real vacation. You know, because we stayed in a lot of hotels. Right. And this was actually somewhere where we were together and we drove together somewhere yeah. instead of meeting up. Well, if that's so. the case, then that's Florida. Mm-hmm. That's Florida when we went to Daytona and um, Orlando. It was so nice to be on vacation. Now I see why. So many people take one. Right. So relaxing and what were we there like four days? Hmm? We were there four days. Mm-hmm. It was so nice and we was at um a resort. We really didn't do nothing. We just laid out by the pool and just. We Jesus. chilled out. <laughs> Jesus is a love song. <laughs> it was like. It was great. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. Mm-mm. That, much. that was great. It was absolutely okay with me. Mm-hmm. Um, who goes to bed the earliest? You got an answer? I love to sleep, honey. Yeah. Uh, if I can get paid to sleep, I do in a heartbeat. All day, every day. I do in a heartbeat. I go to sleep right now. Mm-hmm. I go to sleep right now. Who made the first move? No. Nah. Okay, I guess adding you was probably the first move. You think? Um. I don't know. <laughs> it depends on what move. Because at that time, I don't think I was making. I didn't consider myself making a move at that point. I Are was, you saying something? No, nah, right. I wasn't making a move. I was just, I mean, I, could, I guess you could consider that, but I wasn't like, I don't know. I wasn't looking for a whole lot out of it. You know what I'm saying? I was just talking. Right. So, I don't know. Danny pursued me. So, I, it was her. She, she had the intention from the beginning. I was looking for a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I knew that it was just me breaking and falling. (laughs) 
Don't make that, you know, don't think that sounds bad. I was looking for a good time. It sound bad. It do, don't it? But I, that, that really was my intention. <laughs> In fact, when we first started talking, I thought we was just friends. And we was just chilling out. And then I was showing my friend text messages and like, that I was always talking to him. And she's like, damn, I think y'all talking, talking. I don't think he's just your friend. I'm like, girl, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You do not know what you was talking about. You knew that. You just, you just. No, I did. I thought we really were friends, like good friends. You wanted her opinion. You just wanted to confirm. Oh no. no. Yeah, yeah. You don't know me. Throw your intentions from the beginning. When I said good time, I meant good time. <laughs> That's my intention. Anyway, Stop. shut up. <laughs> what was your first opinion of me? Don't get crazy. Yeah. Um, I thought you were cool. I thought you was funny. And somebody who I could carry on a conversation with, which is, um, which is which is great, you know. I was I was intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm about to dip in here. It's wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, are you? Hmm. What was yours? Um. That was same. It was really easy to talk to you. You made me laugh. It's always a plus for me because anybody that can be goofy and silly with me is good on my end. Mm -hmm. Um, when I ask your opinion of like you know different subjects, you talk like you had good sense, you know. <laughs> and that might sound crazy for me to say, but I have encountered a lot of people. Mm -hmm. That I didn't, it ain't all deal. And so, you know, I was happy to meet you. Um, if possible, what would your partner eat every day? <laughs> and she would eat chicken every day, but she kind of does that for the most part. Wings, specifically. <laughs> If you gonna put it out there, <laughs> if you gonna put it out there, you might well go ahead and If jump. you gonna do this, they ain't probably eat noodles. Yeah, that's true. Some form of noodle. Yep, or a sandwich. Or mm -hmm. a sandwich. Or some pasta. <laughs> I love sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. This sounds weird. Man. I love sandwiches. I. I do. Bro, man, upstairs, fifth floor. <laughs> upstairs, fifth floor. Mm -hmm. I will eat the sandwich right now. All right. This is my last toaster. <laughs> Not a to this is my last toaster. Toast and look out. how you putting it up there. I'm like just trying to make sure it's not too thick in one place. We're putting it up there like it's a struggle. Sandwich. <laughs> okay. Okay. What item of mine would you throw out first? What item of yours would I throw out first? Mm -hmm. that, that, you know, I know them bras. Y'all let him know that you need a grandma bra in your uh -uh. life. An 18 hour. He don't know. He don't know what an 18 hour would do for these. He's dang tough. Baby. <laughs> mm -mm. I need my 18 hours. I need them. If there is an item of his that I'd like to throw out, he has these Nickelodeon pajama pants from Walmart. <laughs> I can't stand. <laughs> I don't know why. Because the, the, the every character just be everywhere. <laughs> why are you hating on my pants? Because you just being here laid out with, with armor. That was the whole on point. On your crotch. That was the <laughs> I can't take it. That was the whole point of me getting the pants. Arnold, I'll leave you crash. 
I can't. <laughs> Whatever. So, that's the piece I'm trying to throw. Although, I will say he has not wore them in a while, so I can't be but so mad. I'll make sure I go put them on right after this Please, report. no, sir. Please, stop. No. <laughs> yeah. What is my shoe size? What is it, nine or something? No, I'm lying. I'm lying. You ain't 11. So I hate it here. What? <laughs> You're not 11. You're definitely not 11. Bro, I'm 5'3". If I got, if I wear an 11, I need help. Do you wear 7 or something? 8. I knew it was somewhere around there. I was like, it can't be up for my nine. AJ wears a 14. 13 if he frisky. But no. sometimes his toes will do this in this. It's shirt. a 13 if I'm skinny. Oh. Right now I'm 14. But that's why I said frisky. I'm 14, 15 territory. That's why I said frisky. Me and talking about you don't wear no 11. No, I don't wear. Not no offense. If you wear 11, wear your 11. My grandma I, wear 11. You gonna wear a bib with this meal. I know. <laughs> oh. I need a PRMSTK bib. Okay. But, um, if you wear an 11, wear your 11. My grandma wear 11, but I don't wear no 11. I don't know how I look. I'm 5'3 with 11. <laughs> that, that's a big foot for somebody as short as me. And I am short. Very short. Look like, um, look like a Missy Elliott video. Slap it. <laughs> <laughs> Who is a better dresser? I am going to give this to AJ. And let me tell you why. Because AJ will put on clothes no matter what the occasion. Danielle, if I don't feel like it, I'm not putting them on. <laughs> I don't care what's happening. Church, <laughs> your wedding, I don't care. If I don't feel like it, she's right. I'm not doing Now, when I do put on clothes, do I, do I not put them on? Yep. I put them on, but if I don't feel like it, yeah, I will come in there looking like a trash dump. <laughs> this back. Hmm? I blocked my dick. Hmm? Thank God I got all my shirt. Who is more likely to be running late? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he took it. <laughs> you can agree. I don't think he mean it. It just, time own, slips away from you, I think. Own. Yeah, time yeah. slips away from him. He don't mean it. It's just. In my old age. <laughs> time slip away from him. I've seen him uh, throw clothes everywhere at 5 o'clock in the morning trying to get to work. And I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. You just time slip away from him. It depends. If you're talking about something early. I'm not a morning person <laughs> at all. I'm just not. So. Anything before 8 ought to be illegal anyway. If you got to work before 8, it should be illegal. Because no. I'm just not in the least bit a morning person. Like, I, um, I get very... It's very hard for me to get out of the bed. And then when it's... It's hard for me to get going. Like... Right. I am the type of person that's meant to get up. <laughs> this is why, essentially, all in all, I need to be my own boss at the end of the day. I need to own my own business because I need to be able to get up out of the bed, you know, get me some coffee or just chill out. Do what I want to do for about two, three hours and then, get my, and then go. Not chill out. You know what I'm saying? Do what I want to do. Take my time. Get ready. Because... Getting up out of the bed early in the morning and just going, it will never suit me. It will never, it will never, ever, ever suit me. <laughs> you can do it. Mm -mm. I think. Like I said, anything that you got to do for eight ought to be illegal. But it's wrong. It's just wrong. Uh -huh. Me going to work ought to be illegal. I don't go. Anyway, who is the loudest? Hmm? Who's the loudest? I got a big mouth. 
I get complaints everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. Hotel. Every time me and my friend used to go to the hotel, honey, somebody call on us, we was loud. Even when I would go places with him, they talk. Her name ain't Nakisha for a reason. For no reason. What? Shut your mouth. Anyway. Last question, AJ. What is it? What is it? <laughs> what is your favorite thing about me? Hmm. <laughs> um. I hate questions like this. What do you mean? What's your favorite thing about me? Like, you know, um. To my hate questions. Like because it's like. Especially when you're married to somebody, it's hard to generalize like a favorite thing about them. You know, you usually just like the people, the person for who they are in general. That's kind of how I feel, you know. I think there's a, a few random things that I, you know, that I really like about you, including, you know, um, you know, your sense of humor and, you know, um, I guess. There's different things that we have in common and stuff like that. I really don't have a favorite. I mean, I just, you. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say in general, or it's my favorite thing about you because it's different from everybody else. So, there you go. I mean, I don't think that's really a bad answer. Mm -hmm. so. My favorite thing about you is probably everything I said with my first opinion of you. And also, I love your ambition. Uh, you know, as far as like with this YouTube channel, your ideas and every all the energy that you put into it, you have thoroughly impressed me. Oh, thanks. And yes, um, <laughs> I thoroughly admire your ambition to what you put your mind to. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart to the depth. I really appreciate that. He's welcome. But yeah, y'all, for those of you that was asking for a couples tag, there you go. If you'd like to know anything else about <laughs> us, please don't hesitate to ask. No. Drop a comment. So we want to thank you guys for joining us today for this poop ball. You know, this is actually pretty, very fresh and refreshing. Mm. It's very it's healthy. It's not heavy. It's very healthy, except for when you, you know, don't eat too many of them tostadas. <laughs> Tortillo chips. <laughs> That's what Abby wanted. Yeah. Um.